A lot of people are buying graphics cards now. The RTX cards just released, used prices are still going down, everyone's upgrading. To go along with your fancy new graphics card, you probably want to upgrade your monitor as well. Today we're taking a look at an affordable 4K option from BenQ. Let's have a look. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today we're taking a look at the BenQ EL2870U, which is a 4K 60fps monitor that's actually affordable. And if you're new here and you want to see more PC monitor reviews or PC building videos, then hit that subscribe button down below and also that notification bell. That way you never miss an episode. But yeah, let's check this thing out. The BenQ EL2870U is a 28 inch 3840 by 2160 free sync 60 hertz monitor that's boosting a one millisecond lag rating and even supports HD. HDR? Well, kind of. We'll get more into that later. This BenQ is what I would call an affordable 4K gaming monitor because the one millisecond lag time is pretty much perfect and it's just over 400 bucks, which is pretty solid. On the back of the monitor, you'll find two HDMI 2.0 ports, one display port, 1.4 port, and a headphone jack. The gray stand at the bottom only allows for tilting, which is definitely a place where they save some money here. I definitely would have liked to see a couple more ports on the back, maybe some USB 3.0 ports, and the fact that the stand only tilts is definitely a bummer, but these are the features that you will lose when you spend this kind of money on a 4K monitor. There are holes for a vase amount though if you absolutely need adjustments, FYI. And to wrap up the physical tour, there's a button on the bottom in the right hand corner which allows you to turn HDR and their Brightness Intelligent Plus technology on. Their Brightness Intelligent technology is actually pretty cool. On the bottom of the monitor is an ambient light sensor and it calculates the brightness of your room and then it'll automatically adjust the brightness of the monitor and it works pretty well. Underneath the monitor, I do want to mention that they made the power button bigger than the rest of them, which is such a good idea so you're not pressing all of the buttons trying to find the power button every single time. Opening up the settings while we're down here reveals the basic settings that you would find on almost every monitor. There's definitely a lot of color profiles baked into the monitor out of the box, but overall I would say the settings are a pretty average package and nothing to write home about. There's also built-in speakers which I would actually say are above average in terms of monitor speakers. They'll never be amazing, mind you, but they sound decent enough for watching a video or something when you don't don't feel like reaching for your headphones. Before getting into my thoughts about how this monitor can perform in 4K gaming, I want to quickly touch up on the HDR feature and how this monitor isn't actually rocking true HDR support. The reason why HDR is a little sketchy on the PC right now here in 2018 is because companies can slap an HDR sticker on their boxes without reaching true HDR minimum specs. The brightness of this panel is only rated at 300 nits, which isn't nearly close enough for a true HDR rating, there's no local dimming, and the color space also isn't at least 125% of sRGB, so you're basically getting SDR color even when HDR is turned on. Basically, in a nutshell, the only reason why BenQ slapped the HDR sticker on there is because it does have 10-bit processing, and I really wouldn't buy this monitor if HDR is the reason for buying a new monitor. Side note though, I don't think you should buy any monitor here in 2018 for HDR. Windows just doesn't support HDR technology that well right now, and the technology in general just isn't that great on the PC yet. One thing that I do like about the HDR on this monitor is that it automatically switches on and off depending on the content that you're currently playing or watching. Here you can see in Destiny 2 that with the HDR turned off in the settings, the colors look normal, and when I hit the HDR button, it shows that the setting is turned off. When I switch the in-game HDR setting to on, the colors then look so much better, and here you can see the notification that the monitor automatically turn the HDR on. That's obviously a very neat feature. With the HDR info out of the way, let's now talk about why I still think that the monitor is worth the price tag. The 4K screen is definitely beautiful, and with the one millisecond TM panel being so quick, this is definitely a solid option for gamers that want to dip their toes for the first time in 4K. As I'm sure most of you know this, gaming in 4K is still a very tough feat, so you need to make sure that you're rocking a beefy graphics card to utilize the power of this monitor. In my opinion, gaming on this BenQ EL2870 70U has been an absolute blast with games like Destiny 2 because even with the not up to standard HDR settings turned on, these games just look stunning and it's definitely going to be hard to go back down to lower resolutions when I'm done reviewing this thing. I wish I could explain just how good the games look with this monitor, the camera certainly isn't going to do it any justice, but as someone who's been gaming in 1440p for over a year now, I'm still in awe just how good these games look in 4K. Overall, 
I would definitely say that the BenQ EL2870U is worth it if you're a gamer that's looking to jump into the 4K realm on a budget. And yes, this is certainly a good option for you Xbox One X or PlayStation 4 Pro owners out there as well. For gaming, this thing looks amazing and the one millisecond response time is perfect, but I really wouldn't recommend this monitor for anything other than gaming like video editing or content creation. The colors do look a little off, which is just the nature of a TM panel. And if you're looking for a monitor that's packing a lot of adjustment options and features, you probably should look elsewhere. Well, that wraps up my review of the BenQ EL2870U gaming monitor. Now feel free to head on over to one of these two videos if you haven't seen them yet, and definitely hit that subscribe button because later this week, I'm showing off a $100 gaming PC that's pretty baller. You don't want to miss that video.